Remember, although there's lots of copycat channels out there ripping me off, there's only one dev bug. So get the real deal. You know the score. Lola Deviette was a 12-year-old girl who lived in the center of Paris, France. She left the school at 3.06 p.m. on a walk that took her 11 minutes to her home. She was found later that Friday evening in a courtyard a short distance from where she lived, stuffed in a suitcase. She was naked, bound, gagged, and her throat had been cut. And this isn't open to conjecture. Now the first thing that a coroner had to do was establish a cause of death among other things. There have been several conflicting reports released by the press and the coroner's office, one being that the girl's organs had been cut out, which ones they didn't say. Also, the zeros and the ones written on her chest and the soles of her feet. One report said that they were just that, written, while another said an instrument was used to burn the numbers into her flesh. The young girl had been bound and gagged, and there was clear evidence without an autopsy that she'd been tortured and raped. But the autopsy of Lola was even more revealing, taking just over nine hours due to the fact that it was a murdered child, but also the precise attention to detail. From the rigor mortis that had set in and the positioning of the body in the case, it was concluded that the child had already been dead before they put her in that case. But it also showed that she'd been severely beaten and tortured, punched and her face stomped on. And I guess to no one's surprise, she'd been raped. And there was two sets of semen in her. And whoever did it must have got bored of using just Lola's mouth. And the autopsy told that whole story. Last but not least, although they'd attempted to cut her head off, it was strangulation that had killed her. When the father and mother arrived home at 4.30 and their daughter wasn't there, they knew something was wrong. They had planned to leave straight after school to go out of town for a weekend to visit friends. And as well as being a good student, the aspiring gymnast was dependable. So the parents contacted the police. When investigators arrived, the first thing they did was check CCTV footage in the lobby. The parents managed several condos in the city, including the one they lived in. What they saw startled them all. Lola leaving the condo willingly with a woman in her mid-twenties. The same woman can be seen entering the building seven minutes earlier, while two men appear to be waiting outside the building for her. When cops started doing a little poking around, they discovered that an Algerian woman had been casing out the condominium from a coffee shop nearby. Yeah, the same one on the camera. And then she was later seen with a suitcase. And by multiple witness accounts, she didn't look like she was going on vacation. More alarming was when a stool pigeon came forward and said that a woman had been offering up a child's organs on the black market to the highest bidder. And that woman was Algerian, arrested in a basement apartment nearby with her sister and two other men, all of them just off the banana boat. There were signs there was a struggle and that the young girl had been there. Police will only identify the ringleader as 24-year-old Dabia B. When cops showed her pictures of Lola's dead cut up body, she looked at him a long time smiling, then said to him, these pictures neither leave me hot or cold. When I was a child, I saw my parents murdered. Dabia's sister and one of the other men were released on bail, but Dabia B and the 43 year old male were charged with the abduction and the murder of Lola Daviant. French newspapers have been printing several theories of what happened. One, the girl was abducted to have her organs harvested. And number two, she somehow knew the mother and that the murder of Lola was an act of vengeance. Settle in a score, if you will. And although the cops are keeping the murder and the details surrounding it under tight wraps, one thing they aren't gonna be able to keep under wraps is the contentious subject of immigration in France and the brutal sex crimes committed by those said perpetrators. Vendredi, le temps s'est arrêté un instant pour chacun d'entre nous. La France s'est figée de stupeur, de douleur et d'horreur en apprenant le supplice de la petite Lola, cette jeune collégienne dont la vie a été enlevée en plein jour 
et en plein Paris, de la pire des manières qui soient. Et de délits sont commis par des immigrés clandestins que l'on n'a pas voulu ou pas su renvoyer chez eux. But immigrants, migrants, or any other fancy label you want to come up with, that all means the same to Lola. The end of her life. Legion forever!